Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Star Wars. We should just start again, really, shouldn't we? Connickets of the Old Republic. I swear I'm not drunk. I'm just kind of tired. Um, where previously, Ron Manan doing courtroom shenanigans. Um, trying to bust. Oh, keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm always going to be amused by that whenever I see that in the save game list now. Keyboard no work. Um, we're, we're on Manan. We're trying to bust Sunri out of jail for Jolie. Um, we found out that Sunri actually was guilty of the crime. But we decided to sort of like basically falsify the evidence to exonerate him anyway. Because the woman he killed was a Sith spy. And um, it would jeopardize the Republic's ability to operate on Manan if he was found guilty. There would be lots of political repercussions that would be bad for the Republic in the long term, so we decided to basically do a cover-up. I got some dark side points for that, but I liked it because it was a genuine moral dilemma in a game that has surprisingly few moral dilemmas for an RPG. Um, so, right now though, I'm pretty sure the only thing left for us to do is to actually uh, just break into the Sith base and start lightsabering fools because we've got like more than one quest taking us there now I think I think the Sith might have a, f a few last bits of evidence for the Sunry case but they've also been um, abducting young Salkath that we need to try and rescue or do something about and also main quest stuff is sending us there the Republic Embassy guys want us to break into the place to recover some sort of drone or something that they that the sith have managed to steal off them i forget exactly what the details were but um we've got a we've got a functional key card that should get us in the front door i think i know you you're the arbiter in the murder trial elasa was a friend of mine if there's any justice in the galaxy, they'll feed Sunray to the Phyrexans. Shouldn't you be preparing for the trial? What are you doing here? I have business with the Sith. Ha! We know who we have business with. If you don't know how to get in, then we don't want anything to do with you. Now back off. I know the passcode. Oh, really? You mean someone like you actually has some real purpose inside? Well then, what is it? Zeta 245698 Alpha. Hmm. Yes, well, I I suppose you really do have some business here. Oh. Head on in. Sudden attack of the snivels. Alright, you smarmy git. You luckily I'm 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 not deciding to kill you and all your wardroids. Did something go wrong if we do this before Sunry's trial? No idea. That's probably a question for the Jangos among the you audience. There. I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? I know the passcode. Your passcode is out of date. Oops. And I don't recognize you at all. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Commander Gran, report to the security desk immediately. Good. I want to speak to your manager. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them. And their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm. Droids, destroy them! Alrighty then. Jolie, would you uh, do the honors? Oh, uh, you only have disable droid, don't you? You don't have destroy droid. Stasis field. Well. Here it is. <laughs> That'll show oh. you. Andrus finally gets to wreck some stuff with his Baragwan assault blade, which is of course nice. That was rather satisfying. Alright. Just like the base on Taris, isn't it? Same tile set. door with explosions happening behind it. That's odd. If 
Hello, control. I have very little in the way of memories of this place. I think mostly yeah. because, frankly, um, I have a lot of previous playthroughs of this game that pretty much ended yes. at Manan. Die! Oh, I you got. Now you'll huh? get it. Yes. I heard it. I bet. Bit of, oh. Never mind. Yes. Gonna say do some stasis, but not really necessary. We haven't even been buffing the entire time we've been in here. We're just kind of walking all over these guys. Do do do. Water pump analysis. Is that more annoying shit I'm going to have to read? Darth Revan was elected to read. Uh, lead, not to read. Pressure door. Okay, we'll, we'll be back. Whoa! Hello, boys and girls! Polo, if you would, please, do the honours with a bit of master speed. Jolie, just stasis the fuck out of them. And, uh, Candorous, kill. Candorous, kill! What? Yeah. That'll show you. 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 I think that'll show him. That'll show you. Candorous smash, yes. Ooh, a little short lightsaber, how cute. Here. Fancy force field, huh? Oh, it's a little ray shield, just like the one in uh, Phantom Menace. Like, even, lo even looks kind of the same. That's pretty neat. Well, that was difficult. I know! I know, I know. As if, I think the Dark Jedi actually went down faster than uh, the regular Sith Troopers. Ooh! General X crystal. I don't remember those. That's different. Faulty war droid. As if I'm going to use that. Whoa! Hello, everybody. Jolie. Yeah. Jolie. Jolie, Jolie! Another yeah. bit of stasis field. You really do no damage, that stasis trooper, Warm Pyro. I mean, disappointment to all Jedi and Sith everywhere. Also, Jolie, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. In spectator yeah. mode over here. Yes? I think this is the this is the droid, right? Data module acquired. Hello? Oh, I was about a bit of... Master yeah. Valor! That'll show you! Didn't stand a chance. West Lounge. Hello! We're in the lounge, apparently. Hello! 
Why? Yeah. Why are we all queued up to fight this one droid? I don't know. That'll show you. I still got the dro some of these droids make some weird noises, man. I mean, admittedly, some of the droids in the actual fucking films made some pretty darn weird noises, but uh, that one feels more to me like a glitch than uh, intentional. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? I hear it's not a story the Jedi would tell you. Oh, hello. It's not a steam puzzle, is it? In my RPG? What are we playing, Unreal? This is Half-Life now? I'm not sure if it is a real steam puzzle. Like, this one turns on and off sometimes, but... Mm, I'm going to leave this alone for the moment. That's not a door, apparently. It may look like a door, but it's not. Okay. Yeah, this is the room with the ray shield. Just trying to make sure we're being relatively thorough here. Right, this is the room with the fancy airlocks. Secondary entrance, elevated to Arto City. What's the secondary entrance about? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that little bit of that that sort of copy pasta, if you like, became so mimetically popular, but it just sort of did. It's, it helps that it's probably one of the best scenes in the entire film, in probably the entire prequel trilogy, in fact. Okay, it's like we're, we're either we need to go mess around in flow, flow control, or uh, it's steam puzzle time. I'm going to take my chances with the steam. I'm not going the right way, am I? What a doofus. I need to go this way. Okay. This is going to be pain and suffering, isn't it? This this is a corridor that will lead you down to the path of the dark side for sure. Might as well say dark side this way. We can just heal our way through the entire damn corridor. <laughs> That works too. And then a bit of spamming force heal won't solve. Now what? Oh, thank God there's actually something in here to do. Uh, download era schematic, no. Steam control room. Yeah, that's where we are. Deactivate steam vents for five spikes. Fucking sure, I guess. Why not? Okay. System override menu. Training room? Huh. Well, there's some of the cell calf. How do we even get there, then? Security computer room. Okay. 
<laughs> excuse me, there is, <laughs> excuse me again, um, apparently a few rooms in this place I've not gotten to yet. Oh, go on, we haven't done this in a while. Entirely unnecessary, but always a pleasure to watch. Oh, go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Security reception, yeah. Flu control room. Overload computer conduits. Corrupt sentry droid targeting. Disable sentry droids. None of the above, please. Steam control. In the activated. Alright, whatever. Is this this door just not go anywhere? Okay. Right, yeah, there's that ray shield blocking off access to the other bits. We need to go through flow control, don't we? Onwards! To flow control! Thank heavens for force speed. Right. Chamber beyond this door is filled with water. Warning! Activating flow control may flood occupied chambers. Please ensure all receiving chambers are empty. This is an irritating puzzle, isn't it? Okay, cool. Sith base is kind of a mess. Mm hmm. Continues in the, uh, in the tradition of Star Wars baddie bases in video games that are just designed by uh, unhinged lunatic dark side architects. Hello everyone! Did you just chuck a grenade at me? No, you just threw a, a lightsaber at me. Wow, here it is! It changes things up a bit. They don't always do that, you know? Alright, and uh, we'll just get to doing the choppy choppy, shall well, we? Here. That'll show you. 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 Ah. Here it is! <laughs> what has gotten into Candorus today? <laughs> no idea what that's about. Another Genderax crystal. I wonder what they do. No problem. Didn't work. What's that? What was that Pro ZD video? <laughs> I think that enemy got the point. Um. Okay. Okay, another Generax crystal. The game's just throwing those at us right now, no apparently, problem. for some reason. Got it. Ariadu strength amplifier. Okay. Would anybody like one of those? Who are currently wearing? Oh, he's got the Dominate Scholars. They're going to be much better. Yeah. What about you, Jolie? You've already got a pair. All right, never mind. He's already got one. We are picking up a lots of short lightsabers today, aren't we? For some reason. Short lightsabers what? for short kings. Petition to be allowed to call them hobbit sabers. Do any 
anything with this desk. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Imagine being this guy right now, this Sith trooper. So two Jedi and a Mandalorian come running down the corridor towards him at lightning speed, like Oh fuck. <laughs> like Oh man. I knew I shouldn't have taken this shift. Barracks, where everyone is already dead because I blew them up via computer. Hacker mode engaged. Surprise, droids! I've come at you from the other direction today! <laughs> You're dead. That'll go down. Selkath Apprentice. Um, well, so time to die, my friend. Finally, we get to kill some of these annoying fishmen. I'm not. This isn't a dark side playthrough, I swear. are we right now? Hello there! Then the walk will move it. That's my Selkath impression. Intruders, should we sound the alarm, Shasa? No, wait. We cannot always be running to the Masters for help. We should handle this on our own. Perhaps this is the test that the Sith have prepared for us. Oh my god, what are you doing here? Only Masters and Apprentices are allowed in here. I accidentally skipped that dialogue. I apologize. Uh Selkath Sith, I'm just here to kill anyone in my way. Um I'm one polo. I am I Shalus has has been investigating the disappearance of young Selkath. I told you your father would get suspicious, Shasa. He always hated the Sith. My father doesn't understand. He's blinded by his own prejudice. The Sith are teaching us mastery of the Force. Our alliance with the Sith will bring strength to Manan and the Selkath people. Uh, ooh, that's a fun extra line of dialogue you wouldn't normally get. The Sith are lying to you. I know. I used to be one of them. You were one of the Sith? I don't believe you. I was Darth Revan once, before my identity was wiped away. Darth Revan? Really? Let me guess. Now you just happen to be on a mission to save the galaxy to atone for your past crimes, right? Uh, something like that, yeah. We're not fools. We're not fools for your Republic lies. Well, I tried. The Sith have promised to give us the secrets we need to master the Force. Uh, the Sith are evil. What they told you was a lie. Republic propaganda. The Sith are the victims of lies and half-truths. They are not monsters. No more so than the Republic. The Sith have promised to guide us in the use of the Force. It's a sign of their good faith. And once the Republic is defeated, the Sith have promised to withdraw from Manan and respect our independence. Alright, fucking Tucker Carlson. Whatever you say, man. Um, I'm getting closer and closer to just killing you. Um, if they... If the Republic is defeated, the Sith will enslave your planet. Spare us your lives. The Sith have treated us with nothing but respect and honor. You speak as if we are prisoners here, but we can leave whenever we wish. Our friend Galas chose to leave, and he was returned safely to his home in Nato City. Shasa, what if they speak the truth? Remember what happened at Taris. Taris is nothing but a Republic lie. If the Sith are such monsters, then prove it to us. Surely there must be some evidence of the horrors they commit. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Fucking. <laughs> Getting really sick of this guy. Fucking. 
for Sith special military operation on Taris. Fucking, uh, just let me kill it. This isn't a dark side playthrough. I'll get dark side points. I won't be able to wear my fancy circlet thing that's not a circlet anymore. I'll get in trouble with the game's morality system. Um, the Sith are evil shatter. They only want Manan's Kolto. The Sith are evil shatter. They will use you to conquer Manan for the Kolto. Bioware, why, why are these two separate options? Why, guys? Did you just feel the need to pad the dialogue menu out a little bit? They only want Manan's Kolto. So you say, but why should we believe you? We need physical proof, not the words of some Republic sympathizer. Uh, persuade, give me some time and I'll find proof the Sith are evil. Or I could try and force persuade him. I can't remember, did I take force dominate or not? I don't remember. Let's give it a try. The Sith are evil. You want to leave this place and never return. Shasa, I think the Sith are evil. I want to go home. Oh, ho. is this how you win an argument? I would have thought it easier to prove the evil of the dark side than that. I've... <laughs> we don't have time for this, Jolie. Yes, the Sith are evil. We must leave and never come back. Quickly, my friends, we can stay here no longer. We must flee this foul embassy and warn our people against the plot to recruit the Manan youth. You want to go home and rethink your life. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sitting here you, using the force like like Jay uses the deneuralizer in, in Men in Black. And I, you know what? I don't have a problem with it. LMAO. Tell Shatter, the Sith. Well, they, well, I, you know what, Jolie? I said I didn't have time, but I did not realize the proof was literally five meters down the corridor. This tortured cell cap was holding some sort of token. Okay. <laughs> that was awfully convenient. Uh, this is right. Here we go, the training room. What up, droid friends? Oh, and it, oh, we sell count and I get to actually kill. Lovely. That'll show you. Take that. How did you get in here? Wait. I recognize you. Lord Malak was most displeased oh, when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. Oh, he I <laughs> promised a great reward to whoever does. <laughs> well, let me guess. You intend to collect I, I, this reward, I, I, right? had me, They set me up there. <laughs> Fucking Bioware, you cheeky bastards. Recycling your dialogue like that. See? What Shameless. As you wish, my eager apprentices. We shall remove this thorn from Malak's side once and for all. I, ge I genuinely wasn't prepared for that. That was hilarious. I thought I was going to get a unique little conversation there, and then he just launched into the Lord Malak was most displeased monologue. Um, all right, anyway. <laughs> Jolie, buddy, you're going to have to you're going to have to block faster than that, matey. Uh, <laughs> you're in trouble, sir. Yes. Okay, disengage and just stasis field. There we go. That was not as effective as I would have liked. Try it again. There we go. What? That'll show you. I still got it. Luxum crystal, another new one. And a dark Jedi master robe. Ooh. Ooh. Tempting. Tempting. It's not going to be as good, as good as the Keldrama robes, though, is it? Because, you know. No dark side item is allowed to be as good as the light side items in this game. Still. Does look kind of cool, though. 
Do 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 do. More Jed Dark Jedi Knight robes. We've got like a wardrobe full of the things now. Ow. We have a data pad. Containing what? I don't know. I'm going to have to go through that nightmarish inventory menu to find it though. Anything else in here to mess with? Doesn't look like it. Okay, new items. Quest items. This one looks. I think this is this is the one. These appear to be the personal notes of the Dark Jedi Master in charge of the Sith base on Manan. It seems the Sith have been trying to turn impressionable young Salkath over to the dark side. You don't say. After reading the lengthy progress reports on this topic, it seems that the final plan was to use these young Salkath to overthrow the current government and install a puppet government that the Sith would dominate. Further proof of the bad guys. The really obvious bad guys being really obviously bad. I tell you, to be honest with you though, that 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 Salkath being all like, ah, it's Republic propaganda. You know, like back when I originally played this game, that would have seemed ridiculous. Now I'm older and wiser, I realise there are really people like that. Um, okay. Apparently already searched that. Okay, I'm not... I think we've got everything we needed from here, haven't we? We've got the uh, the droid bit. We've got... we freed the Selkath. We've got proof of the, the dastardly scheme. I... Can I open this ray shield thing? From here? I don't think I can. I'll have to go around. This whole bit here with the pressure doors and the flow control, that was very strange. I'm not sure what that on earth that was all about, really. Very odd setup. Sealed door. That's the other way in, isn't it? Oh god, now where where have you guys gone? Huh? <clears throat> what are you guys doing? What? Jolie, why? Why are you senile old fuck? Come on, this way. Sure. Come on, let's... Oh my god, what? What is, what is happening right now? Candorous! Huh? Why are you all so desperate to go through that door? Come on, let us leave. Get up, soldier. We are leaving. Or not, because apparently... <laughs> Need? Level sure. geometry. There we go. Alright, back out the front door, I guess. Finally. Ah. You there, human. You are placed under the arrest of the Arto City Civil Authority. Authorita. You'll never take me alive. It's awfully tempting to click that, you know. What? Why? Oh, I don't know. It could have something to do with all the dead Sith behind me. I, I want to pick this, but I don't know how long ago it's been uh, since I've saved, and this lit feels like one of those uh, click this option to die buttons. Uh, it's fine, apparently. Okay, you can take it. 
You'll never take me alive! Do not be foolish, human. We have the entire armed forces of Banana at our disposal. You will submit to our authority. <laughs> Though the uh, Sith Embassy here is considered sovereign territory of the Sith Empire, we have been monitoring an alarming number of weapon discharges and detonations from within the base. Well, well, if it isn't the consequences of our actions, everybody. Inquir inquiries into the staff of the Embassy in deal did no response. It would seem that contact had been cut. Our cameras recorded you entering the base shortly before contact was lost and fighting apparently began. And it is the conclusion of the Arto City Civil Authority that you are responsible for the disturbance here and you are hereby placed under arrest. You will come with us to await your trial. As material witness, the individuals who accompany you will be detained at your vessel and the vessel itself prohibited from leaving Manan. We will leave now. Do not attempt to resist or we shall resort to overwhelming force. Bother. Greetings, human. I am called Balas, and I have been selected as your arbiter for the duration of your trial. I don't need everyone to represent me. I'm an arbiter. While it is true that you do have that right, I would recommend against it. Due to your confinement, you have not had much of a chance to build up evidence to pursue your case. Also, I do not believe you off-worlders truly understand the minds of we Selkath. It would be best if you left your defense to me. What have I been charged with? You've been charged with initiating violence within the Sith Embassy, murdering members of the Ambassadorial Commission of the Sith Empire, and disregarding our own laws regarding violence in Arto City. Uh, okay, what can I do? I would like to ask you a few questions regarding the events that led up to your arrest. I've already been given all relevant data on you and your companions, so that can be disregarded. For what reason did you enter the Sith Embassy? I had authorization to enter. Indeed, I find that unlikely off well, though. Perhaps the judges will be more sympathetic to your view. What is your prior association with the Sith? Um, I'm Darth Revan. <laughs> Dark, Dark Lord of the Sith? You may have heard of me. Um, that'd be an interesting card to play in this uh, in this sequence, wouldn't it? Check mate, motherfuckers. I'm actually Dark Lord of the Sith. I should be allowed to kill my own Sith minions on sovereign Sith territory. Thank you very much. I have no prior association. I kill them wherever I can find them. I'm on a mission to stop them from taking over the galaxy. The Sith are an expansionistic power, true, and at war with the Republic. You may make it your personal mission to foil them, but the authorities take a dim view of taking, pla it taking place here. I think you will need a more thorough explanation in order to convince the judges. That should be all the information I require of you for now. If you wish, we can begin the trial whenever you are ready. I have proof that the Sith are evil. Indeed, and what is that? This data pad proving they are kidnapping young Selkath, for instance. This is most disturbing. We should take this evidence and present it before the court right away. While your high standing among the off-worlders on Manan may bring you some leniency from them, being a successful swoop rider brings you no credit here, human. You stand accused of the grievous murder of many Sith, and extensive property damage to their embassy here. Lies, I didn't damage the property at all. How do you plead? Uh, I don't plead, I tell! Guilty or not guilty? Well, um, technically... I mean... Pleading not guilty seems... Guilty is game over, is it really? I mean... I guess that makes sense, but like, there's no way we're not... Not guilty here. We're, I mean, we're guilty as fuck. Um, take the plea deal, yeah, yeah. Not guilty, your honor. Let the record show that this trial has commenced. Presiding are judges Shelkar, Josa, Naleshikan, Kota, and Dula. This trial is to determine the culpability and punishment of this individual in the recent assault on the Sith Embassy. Given the severity of this trial, we can dispense with the normal formalities of the court and proceed directly. You have pleaded not guilty, yet there are reports of weapons, fire, and detonations from within the Sith Embassy. 
He was seen entering and leaving the embassy. The Sith have not conferred with the authorities about this matter, but from all available evidence, it would seem that you are the source of the disturbance. What's your explanation for being in the Sith embassy? I was investigating the disappearances of young Selkath. I have this data pad as proof that the Sith are up to no good. Let it be noted that the court has taken this new evidence into consideration. Hmm, this is most disturbing. The court will adjourn for a brief period to verify this evidence and discuss its importance. We have verified that this is indeed a Sith data pad, indicating their complicity in a plot to overthrow the lawful government of Manan. In gratitude for having discovered this heinous offence, all charges against you regarding this incident will be dropped. That was easy. Pending a suitable penalty against the Sith, their embassy is considered off limits to all Arto City security personnel. No calls or incidents from their base will be attended to until this matter is dealt with, as they are no longer subject to the protections of Selkath law. You have been found innocent and you may leave as you desire. The trial is now over. Wow, really? I was expecting more. The Neverwinter Nights 2 court scene, it is not. When you played this first, you never got the data pad and you managed to bullshit your way out of the crime by saying they were trying to convert me to the dark side. Yeah, I think when I originally did this, I don't think I had the side quest for the Selkath youth, and I don't think I got the data pad either, and I pretty much just bullshitted my way through the trial, which actually is probably far more entertaining. Um, you were actually you were hoping for something like, like Neverwinter Nights 2. Yeah, me too, honestly. You never passed the Neverwinter Nights 2 trial. I mean, it's kind of... I don't think there's any way to. If, if I recall correctly, you, there's, it's, it's actually impossible to sort of win the Neverwinter Nights 2 trial. It's just a fun sequence where you get to debate the whole thing out, and it takes a bunch of your previous choices into account, and it's just a kind of an entertaining sequence to play through. But it, yeah, the, the outcome, like, doesn't change. Unfortunately. So... Yes, the side quest being active is a requirement to unlock the doors to the training area. Without it, you can't get to the to get the token or the data pad, so you need to do the trial. I see. I see. So I sort of accidentally... Ex ex accidentally took the really easy option. Right. No. I'll rot in here... Okay, we need to get this trial sorted out now, don't we? So you were the arbiter in the Sunri Alasa murder case then. I hope you are as impartial as the office is traditionally supposed to be. Don't count on it, mate. You off-worlders have a tendency to ignore the rule of law in favour of some rather irrational causes. What is it that I can do for you now? Um, I want to begin Sunri's trial. You certain human, once the trial has begun, it cannot be stopped, and once judgment is given, the case can never be re reopened. Uh, you must be certain your investigations are complete before you request a trial. This is the role of the arbiter. You are certain you wish to begin the trial now. Yep. Are you deaf, Flipperhead? Let's get this trial over with. Yeah, I'm picking this option because I, I, I just, I can't help it. Very well, human. I shall advise the court that we, and we will begin immediately. I spoke with Laura. I haven't actually, no. Well, we spoke with her once. Let the record show that the trial of Sunri versus the Arto City Authority has commenced, presiding on judges shell cards, so on and so forth, etc. Determine the culpability of Sunri in the death of the Sith Alassa, representing Sunri as defense of the member of the Jedi Order. Do you have any opening statements? <laughs> you can try and do force persuade. I feel like that's ill-advised, frankly. Uh, Sunri is guilty of the murder. I have this recording as proof. He is guilty, but I will find Sunri innocent. That remains to be seen. Acting as a prosecutor for the Arto City Authorities and impartial observer from the Sith Empire. It is an honor to see justice served. And I will see Sunri is executed for the crime he has committed. Do not be too overzealous in pressing your commission, Sith. The first matter of business is the presentation of a sworn testimony by the proprietor, Ignis, of the hotel where the murder occurred. What is the testimony you wish to give us? The man I saw leaving, Sunri, 
probably left after I heard the blaster shot. What? The guilt of the accused is apparent even this early You bastard! I paid you to say the opposite! I've been double-crossed, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, yeah, important evidence, blah, blah, blah. We now begin by calling forth the witnesses to the crime and taking their testimony. Oh, I used force persuade, and for some reason that doesn't work. It's kind of annoying. After each witness is given their testimony, you cross-examine them, blah, blah, blah. First witness is Firith. Prosecution will question the witness first. You are Firith Me, the well-known Pazak player. I wonder if we can trust the word of a, a gambler as reliable testimony. Uh, do not undermine the witness. Objection sustained. Ask the witness your questions and do it promptly. Of course, Your Honor. Firith Me, what did you see the night of the murder? Well, I came out into the hallway after hearing the blaster shot and saw Sunri over there limping down the hall out of the building. <laughs> a very obvious point, Your Honours. The accused was seen leaving the scene of the crime after the blaster that killed Elasa was fired. Very pertinent point, Prosecutor. It is now the defence's turn to cross-examine the witness. Did you actually see the murder happen? You mean, actually see him kill her with my own eyes? Well, no, but I don't think there could have been anyone else there. Your point is well taken, Arbiter. Do you have any additional questions? Um, was the medal left at the crime scene not a little too obvious? I think it may have been. I mean, you'd have to be pretty stupid to leave something that important lying around, wouldn't you? This argument has merit. Do you have additional questions? How could Sunri have harmed her if he was a cripple? Well, he was moving pretty fast running away, but yeah, I mean, how could he kill a Sith warrior in combat? I don't know for sure. Do not think less of Sunri because of his handicap. He is fully capable. Can't you see that the man can hardly walk, let alone fight a lassa? That's enough for now. We will deliberate on this later in private. Do you have any additional questions? Yes. Elasha is a dark Jedi, isn't she? Yes, from what I could tell. She carried a lightsaber under that cloak of hers. Objection! That doesn't prove she was a Jedi. No, this piece of evidence is very important. It establishes the character of Elasa and perhaps her intent in dealing with Sunri. Do you have any additional questions? No, I have no additional questions, Your Honor. Very well. Would you like to use this opportunity to poll the judges? I guess, sure. I don't have enough information to make an informed decision. I'm unsure. I cannot make my decision. Not enough information. I cannot tell yet. Okay, fine. Since the defense has no further questions, we will call out the second witness, the Rodian Glupor. Prosecution may question the witness. Glupor the Rodian, you were staying in the hotel the night of the murder and saw Sonri leaving Alasa's room, didn't you? Yes, Glupor sees Sunri running down hallway, and when Glupor can look in room, Sith woman dead on floor. This is clear, then, that Sunri left the room with the Sith Elasa already dead behind him. Perhaps, so, perhaps it is the turn of the defense to question the witness now. Uh... Did you plant the no? Uh, hmm. Isn't the medal at the crime scene too obvious clue? Lupor, not know. Will I anyone leave things in someone else's room? Lupor just think these things happen. It is just odd. That's yes, odd indeed. Just to ask the witness anything else. Yes. Did you plant the medal on Elasa? Lupor, Lupor, Don't. Oh, sorry. Accidental clip. What does he wish to say, Glupor? Glupor, Glupor, Glupor paid by Sith to plant that medal. Lies! Slander! I object! You are certain of this, Glupor? Glupor wonky. Glupor wonky. This new evidence puts the entire case in a new light. Do you wish to ask the witness anything else? I have no additional questions. Do you really think a cripple could have hurt that? No, I, I think I'm going to leave it there. 
Would you like to pull the judges at this time? Yes. Not enough information. Unsure. I do not believe Sunri is a well-standing Republic citizen could have committed this crime. And he cannot tell. Alright, it's Laura's turn. You, Elora, are Sunri's lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between the Sith Empire and the Republic. He was crippled in that war. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes. I guess he would. And there you have motive. Sunri seeks revenge on the Sith for what they did to him and killed Elasa. A supposition for now, Prosecutor. Does the defense have any questions for the witness? Hmm. I'm kind of weirded out by the fact that Polo is completely frozen like a statue at the moment. That's very unusual. Um... Was it true your husband was having an affair with the lassa? I'm not sure what asking this question would get us. Sunri was a Republic war hero, wasn't he? Yes. He fought against the Sith in the last war. He fought bravely and was even awarded the Hero's Cross. I don't know how much that means to the Sith or to your Selkath, your honors. But in the Republic, it is awarded only to the bravest, most valorous, most honorable men. The kind of man who earns that medal would not kill someone in cold blood. My husband earned a medal because he excelled at killing Sith. It relates directly. Do not let personal opinions may sway your judgment of the law. Do you have any more questions? Um... We love how the prosecutor warns a witness not to confess to planting evidence, but the trial still continues. Any real-life court, that's that's an immediate grounds for dismissal. Mm-hmm. Cell, the Selkath justice system is fucking weird. <laughs> Why, what can I say? Um, I have no additional questions. Sunri was a cripple. Could he have killed Lassa? He was a good man. But his injuries pained him terribly. But he always held on. Always persevered. I don't think he could have beaten her or anything like that. Oh, Elora. This is not, this is I not good. Sunri seems fully capable to me. But it seems unlikely he would choose to do such a thing. Do you have any more questions? No. Use this opportunity to poll the judges? Sure. Okay, one, one, one guilty. Another guilty. Not guilty. Undecided. I wish to call forth Sunri himself, your honours. Are you a war hero, Mr. Sunri? You fought in wars against the Sith Empire, correct? Yes, that's right. And I don't regret it either. The Republic needs its heroes. Indeed. Would you say that you dislike the Sith? Even hate them? Of course I hate them. Trying to take over the galaxy every chance they get, killing millions of innocents? Pure politics. Were you in Alassa's room on the night of the murder? Well, yes, I, I was. I knew she was a Sith. And she would be trying to pump me for information, of course. So I, I just simply turned the tables. I was working on her, trying to turn her over to the Republic side, trying to turn her into a double agent. But that's kind of ruined now that she's been murdered. An obviously false story. I have proof here in the form of data recording that proves you were, in fact, having an affair with Elasa. Let this new evidence be entered into the court records. So be it. I... I... What's the use now? I had been having an affair with Alassa, it's true. But I realized my mistake and I was going there to end it, but I did not kill her. 
You were having an affair with a Sith. You wanted to end it quickly and quietly, so you killed her from behind and tried to flee. No, I... I think we can see the answer clear enough, Mr. Sunry. Do not interrupt the accused. In fact, I think you've said quite enough already, Prosecutor. Do any questions to ask the accused, Arbiter? Elasa was a Sith spy, wasn't she? Of course she was. Why would a young, beautiful Sith woman get with an old cripple like me? You're not helping yourself, Sundry. You only give a reason why you might kill her. Oops. He merely states facts. The incompetence of the murder indicates that her occupation was not the motive for the killing. The fact remains, Elasa was a Sith and likely a spy as well. Is there anything else you wish to ask the accused? How could Alastra have got a hold of your medal? We don't need to ask that. We've already we've already proved that it was planted by Grupor. You were going there to end the affair. Would the Sith object? Yes, I think they would. They wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them anything. They they might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. The Sith Empire is not the barbaric institution you portray it to <laughs> be. <Gloopor> wonky, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that line of dialogue. Be silent, Prosecutor. This is valuable points and that lends some credence to your defense, Arbiter. Yes, yes, sorry, sorry. Trial, things happening. Is there anything you wish else which you wish to ask the accused? Sundry, is it true that Gloopor wonky? I have no additional questions. You use this opportunity to poll the judges? Oh, I suppose so. I think the Sunny perhaps could have been the culprit. Oh dear. Guilty, 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 neutral, guilty. Okay, witnesses, witnesses have all been called forward and questioned by both prosecution and defence. The prosecution will now present in closing in summary of the pertinent facts of this case. I think we've screwed the pooch, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> I think the, f I think oh, the facts in this case are very straightforward. Sunri was having an affair with Elasa. He sought to end it, and the simplest, quickest method, given his hatred of the Sith, was to simply kill her. Witnesses saw Sunri fleeing the scene, and material evidence places him there at the time of the murder as well. I am confident that any informed observation of the facts will lead the judges your honours, to this very conclusion. Indeed, and your closing statements, Arbiter. My closing statements are that fuck that guy who works at the hotel, I'm going to chop his head off with my lightsaber when I get out of here. Um, I feel really, um... It's frustrating, you have to think like a Bioware programmer rather than a lawyer, you know, I suppose so. Um... Actually, I feel I I have a legitimate complaint here, which is that the force persuade on the hotel guy doesn't work at all, and it isn't explained why it doesn't work. Um, that that is extremely poorly communicated to the player, because I feel like I've been at, at utterly taken for a mug by that dialogue option. Um, you know, I feel like entitled to use force persuade because you have to spend skill points or whatever feet points to get it. Um, so using it, uh, like, you know, to do that rather than bribing the guy feels like something legit that you should be able to do. Um, and I, I, fe I feel li like it would make more sense to me if occasionally Force Persuade bites you in the ass if it wasn't for the fact that it costs you up to, like, two, potentially two, um, you know, power points to actually get. The, the both ranks of force persuade if force persuade was just something you had by default just for being a jedi then having it bite you in the ass occasionally would feel fairer but um because you have to spend like multiple level ups getting it level you know getting it specced up and then having it still bite you in the ass on a really important occasion like this that feels really unfair um especially since there's no explanation given to the player to sort of like you know at, l at the very least be like gotcha maybe you shouldn't have done that um it's just you know i mean even django in the chat is saying he's unsure if it's bugged or if it's meant to screw you it's it's impossible to tell right um and that 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 i find genuinely a little bit irritating because that's basically screwed the trial that 
because I decided to force persuade him rather than bribing him. That's that has that has an entire stream later, later down the line, um, fucked the trial. And I feel cheated a little bit as a result. Never mind. No closing statements, Arbiter. Alas was a spy in the Sith of Framing Sunry. Sunry was ending the affairs the Sith killed her. The Sith are obviously evil and that set this up. Sunry was a cripple and couldn't have killed her. No one actually witnessed the murder. True, technically. Um Lassa was a spy, and the Sith are framing Sunri. That's what I'm going to go with. I mean, we have a little bit of evidence to support that in the form of the medal being planted by Glupor. So. We find that highly unlikely, Arbiter. The Sith have no need of such deception. The facts speak clear. For the Sith have been known for violence, deception, and murder before. That's also true. There is another point you would like to make. Um... No one actually witnessed the murder? This is this is true. This is you can't really deny this. So I feel like it's safe to say this. Probably not though. I think I think at this point this trial is basically unsalvageable anyway. Anyway, no one actually witnessed the murder. Truth. Well, that doesn't mean a thing. He was there, running from the room. If you speak out of turn again, you'll be forcibly ejected from the court. The arbiter speaks a valid fact. Is there another point you would make? Um. No, my arguments are complete. I think every, everything else here would probably just backfire. And the court will now deliberate, deliberate amongst ourselves. The court hereby finds Sunri guilty. Yeah, unsurprisingly. And it's the death penalty. Sunri, no. Due to the extenuating circumstances surrounding the case, and to not provoke additional tension between the Sith and Republic elements within Arto City, the sentence is commuted to a life term to the in the Arto City prison. No, your honours. I demand the death penalty. You're in no position to argue, Sith. Do not think that your empire can pressure this court. We have made our decision. The verdict has been delivered and this trial is now over. This is why we Mandalorians don't have courts. We prefer to settle things with trial by combat. <laughs> Shut up, Candras. <laughs> Remove the... I mean, not that I disagree with you right now, frankly, but... Henry... Well, justice has really kind of been served, more or less. Let's be honest. I mean, it like Sunri did it. He he one hundred percent did it. I just failed in trying to cover it up. So never mind, I guess. Now then, we need to get our asses to the Republic Embassy, don't we? This way, somewhere. Yeah, this way. I don't know what Jolie thinks about that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Like in other Bioware RPGs, I would have expected Jolie to automatically talk to us right after the trial's over, but for some reason in this game, you have to initiate it yourself all the time. Got something on your mind, do you? Uh, what do you think of Sunry's verdict? You defended him well enough. I wish we had time to look into matters more fully, but wishing is only useful for the young and idealistic. What's done is done. The Republic will likely appeal the matter eventually, and he'll be free. I just... Oh, I, I just would like to know if that's best. Sunri was a good man once, and a good friend. I'll miss him. Ugh, I don't want to talk about this anymore. My jaw aches. I see. Trial by combat. Candorus versus the entire courtroom, yes. I reckon he'd win. Uh. 
Auto East Central, this way, I think. Still want to decapitate that hotelier. Bastard. Okay. Republic of the Clave is this way, right. Alright, my dude. Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? Yes. Here it is. Excellent. It does not appear to have been tampered with. So the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very poorly. We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Manan is the sole source of Kulto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, we need as much of it as we can get. Uh, what has the Republic done? The Selkath conservatives, with their neutrality treaties, seek to treat the Sith and the Republic equally. This includes Kulto exports, but a few more far-sighted Selkath see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there would be nothing to stop them from taking Manon anyway. So we made a deal. So what sort of deal? We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Kulto directly at its source. We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction, um, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star map. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station since. Why have you not investigated? As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith, but they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Hrackard Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent that droid underwater and the reason we needed its data back so badly was to find out what happened to the Rackard Rift Station. But now that we have the data back, our operation is in no danger of exposure to the Sith. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. How will I get down there? I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. Merely use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub therein. It has been programmed to take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours, and nearly exhausted the mercenary population of this planet. The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest, and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left down there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts. Alright then. Excuse me. Ugh. There it is. There's the submersible. Very fancy looking. Kind of reminds me of the one from uh, the Phantom Menace. It's a different, different design. Obviously, it doesn't have weird squiddy bits coming out of the back, but uh, still, it's not your traditional sort of submarine, is it? The submersible can be used to descend to the deep ocean racket research station. Use the submersible. It's always a bigger fish here too. Watch this space. Alright, things are all going to get a bit Bioshock now. Um,
antidote kits for free. That's always a little ominous. How did you get in? Did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. Oh, it's Neelix again. Why, what happened? No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. I've actually be I've actually started rewatching Voyager again recently, so this is extra weird. Um I have to find the star map. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen any map. Just stinking, raking death. The cell calf, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere. And the cell calf came out, screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. The, the cell calf? They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them. So we ran. But hardly any of us made it. Uh, I locked the door behind us, but but the others had already left in the submersible. The sharks. The Feroxa out there, and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the Selkath. Like us. Sniveling worm. No, um, I have to get into the station. No, I locked the door so the cell calf won't get in. If you open it, we're all done for. Tough. I need it open. If you go in there, you're dead. You're all dead. If you want to die, then go. You won't hear me mourning for you. I'll stay here and be safe until some sort of real rescue comes. Don't get your hopes up too high. I have no intention of dying. Right then. More antidotes, huh? And sonic grenades. How are you finding your Voyager rewatch? Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, these seasons are a bit... You know, with the K's on and everything. It's just not the best Star Trek that's ever been made. But it gets better later on, so... Big fishies. Insane Selkaf! We get to kill some more of them! Alrighty then. This is not a door that will open. This is, though. <laughs> Kung Fu droids! Oh, kickboxing wardrobes. again! Pack. Heavy sentry droid. Hmm. Candorous, would you like to like actually get involved, mate? That would be really handy if you did that. Yes. <laughs> Ah! 
That'll show you. What have we here? A dead soldier. An environmental suit that we're going to need. No problem. Got it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Are they fighting each other? I think they are. I uh, can't help but notice that the Cellcath are making droid noises when I kill them. Scientist memo, med pack, sonic emitter. Have I missed an important locker? Alright, fine. Ah, whimpering locker. I did, yeah, I... More than one locker, in fact. Okay, no, we already searched that one. What's what's the deal with this, then? Is somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me, too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. There's no way a person can fit in that thing. Come on, game. Uh, I'm one polo! And I've been sent by the Republic to investigate what's happening here. Investigate? You're just like the others. Order for the Selkath. Walk and fish snacks. Chomp, chomp, chomp. If you can run, you might be fast food. When the Selkath went insane and started killing everybody, I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. Um, what made the cell calf insane? Don't know. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy fishies, though, they just got hungry. Come out. We'll protect you from the cell calf. No, 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 no. That's what the others said. Mercenaries like you, but they're dead. The cell cap ate them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, but where the culto is. Few fishies there, but many, many, many fishies in between the water. What? Made the cell cap? No, we already asked that. You want to come out of that room? You feel safe with us? No, 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 no. Only the ones. Okay then. No, only the. You don't come out, I'll just leave you in there. Bye bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Food for fishy. That's you. Okay then. No problem. Got it. Ew. Hello. <laughs> Alright, back it up guys, back it up, we're going this way. Hello! More insane, said Gaff. Okay. Pressure door. I don't know if I want to interact with that just yet. No problem. Got it. There was a scientist memo we picked up there, wasn't there? Which I haven't actually read yet. Uh, where would that be? Got this sonic emitter. This device emits a powerful sonic pulse, useful for scaring off or stunning various wildlife. 
It normally has an extremely limited range, but in an underwater environment, the signal would travel quite a distance. It has proven quite lethal to several species of Ferax and sharks. Yes. I still have the spacesuit from the Sith from 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 the Sith flagship. I didn't realize that. Uh, but we've also got the Enviro suit from here. Where is that scientist memo thing? Scientist memo. Here we go, finally. I hate this inventory screen. Um, in response to those fracks and sharks outside, I managed to whip up a little something in one of the workrooms. This is a sonic emitter, which should scare them off. The sound seems to work a lot better underwater than through the air, and if you fix it on the outside of an Enviro suit, just push the button every time they get near, and you'll have no problems. So I was just wondering, when am I going to get that raise? Okay. That did not feel worth all the trouble to search for it. Oops. More fishy fishes. I think I've been poisoned. I think I've been poisoned. You don't hear that. Dialogue line very often. Don't really hear Warm Polo say very much in general, do you? Hello, you little kids. Yeah. <laughs> That'll show you. That'll show you. Let's see what you got. This is what I live for. Loot the insane fishy people. Loot them all. Hello, big fish. No problem. Didn't work. What? That won't do. This could take what? a while. You wanna join in? <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. Yes? Yeah. I can't both do it at the same time. All right, Candorus. Do the honors, mate. Oh, boy. Really? Yes. Yes. Really. This is just door just impossible to mash. Beyond half health. Never mind. Activating airlock. You have only one Enviro suit available. If you proceed through the airlock, all party members will have to stay behind until you return. Leave party members and begin airlock sequence. Technically, I also have a space suit, but I suppose it's not developed for use deep underwater, so fuck it, never mind. Off we go! Solo mission. And yes, we are. Moving painfully slowly. The 
clunking walking. Who's up. there? You're not Selkath, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? I am Warren Polo! The Republic sent us down to investigate. I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Selkath killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The Selkath swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they, they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy Selkaths. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. What are you doing in the underwater section of the facility? I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hracker Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. Um, okay, I'll come with you. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together, but I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want, down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Hmm, <laughs> safe. Hello, Darth. Thank you very much for 19 months, Savage. Uh, all right, I'll see you, dude. I'll um, I'll catch up with you. There's the sonic emitter. We'll be using that shortly, I'm sure. I don't know if there's anything actually here, to be honest. Now, and it's gonna, it's gonna take so long to walk all the way, but up and down. But I feel compelled to explore anyway. Welded door. We go first person while we're in the suit, we can. First person underwater mode. Average frag mines. Django, you liar. You said there's no loot here. I'm sure those average frag mines will prove to be crucial absolutely of vital importance later on. <sighs> well, Pete wanted me to play Subnautica. I, this is sort of like um, if you wish for that on a monkey's paw, really. Not nailed down, it's subject to the Jedi tax, hell yeah. Alright, Mr. Survivor Man. You've got red shirt written all over you, haven't you? I don't think this is going to end well for you. Still. That's a pretty nice uh, little thumbnail screenshot sort of uh, opportunity right there, isn't it? I quite like that. Come on, hurry up. Don't just stand there, we have to keep moving. The water is filled with gas. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you just, ah, another casualty of the widescreen fix, I see. Also, the little tippy-tappy noise when we walk out here is, is downright hilarious. Tip-tap, tippy-tappy, tippy-tap.
I, I, you know what? I have to admit, as locations in this game go, this one's pretty darn cool. I, I had actually forgotten how uh, how cool this actually looks once you get outside the facility, because most of my memory of this place consists of these annoying corridors full of droids and Selkaf. But actually, this outside bit does look kind of cool. Hmm. I guess I wasn't close enough for that to work. I thought the range of this thing was supposed to be really high underwater. It's a cool location, except you need to move faster, yes. I like that it roughly corresponds to the inside as well, like this is where we were earlier, sort of. Except it's not actually, because there's a goddamn fish inside there. <laughs> Alright, never mind, ignore what I said. I wonder how the sequence goes if you didn't pick up the emitter. Probably very, very irritatingly. Okay, we're in. Oh, <laughs> my force speed is still active. I wasn't expecting that, I must admit. Rare, rare is the day I get to do a bit of grenade spam. That one didn't make droid noises when he died. Unusual. Deflected back in your face. I assume we finished the better call polo section of Manan. <laughs> we did. It did not go well. A breath mask. This is probably maybe one of the few places in the game you actually want to wear the damn thing. Hello there. I'll be with you in a moment, people behind this fault ray shield. The game's being difficult again. Can I talk to you through it? No, yeah. no, y you can't come in here. You'll let the Phyraxa and the Selkath in. No, stay out, stay out. I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them! Kill them now! Oh dear. 60 seconds to complete depressurization. Uh, I can't do anything. Game? 54 seconds to complete. Deactivate depressurization sequence. There we go. Alright, no. you jerk. No. The Faraxa will get us. No. The Silkath are coming. No. No! I'm a friend. I'll protect you. You're both safe now. I, I'm sorry for what I did. I don't know what came over me. I, I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cat went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frags and sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our Selkath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team, my team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me, I, I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the Selkath outside the doors every once in a while and 
Strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. Mm hmm. Have you seen a star map? A star map? I don't know anything about a star map down here. But there were some ruins that were excavated when we were digging the foundations for the last section of the Culto harvesting machine. But we can't go anywhere near those now. Maybe. Maybe that's why it all happened in the first place. What happened? We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift near the vent. Then there was this rumbling and my head felt like it was splitting open. This this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Firaxis shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersible. <coughs> Like it was screaming Excuse inside everybody. my head. Then <coughs> all the silk caps started that screaming came from. too, <laughs> and they turned on us. <clears throat> Whatever is affecting the silk cap is clearly affecting me too. <clears throat> I just suddenly like got a massive dry tickle in my throat out of nowhere. <clears throat> right. Um. Hmm, what did the shark have to do with that? Well, maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kulto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. Oh, die. Yeah, I've been force choked suddenly out of nowhere. <laughs> <clears throat> How could you miss something that big living there? I don't know. It seems impossible, but maybe whatever sort of power it used to drive the Selkath insane masked it from us somehow. Maybe it was lying dormant deeper in the rift. I think it might live there. Live there because of the Kulto. Maybe. That would explain more. Like, why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kulto would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Kulto as a food source... And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. Where is this monster Firaxan now? I don't know. It must still be out there. Out there, waiting for us. Hmm. So, what can I do about it? The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. What are you talking about? The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firaxan and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the Kulto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. Um... How would I poison the shark? What else could I do? You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Firaxan drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kulto harvester. And have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxan shark. What other choice do I have, though? Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. 
How would I do that? You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But, but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work. It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. I'll do what? <laughs> uh. Oh man, okay. Yes, I'll do what I want and kill both of you as well. Uh, that's one for the moustache twirling evil playthrough. Um, why? Just, <laughs> God. I don't know. Um. Some of the some of the choices in this game are just completely unhinged. Um, I will try to poison the shark, or I will try to destroy the harvesting machine. Mm. I'll poison the shark. It's probably cooler. You know it's the right thing to do. It can't go wrong. Just put the canister into the machine and have it vent into the rift. The Firaxan shark should die in no time. No, you shouldn't do that. It could poison everything. Just reprogram the harvesting machine's computer to overpressure the fuel tanks. Once it's destroyed, the shark should just leave. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice. The, sh the, the Firaxan shark is probably like a big evil dark side beastie anyway. Like it's hanging around next to the star map. It's probably been poisoned by the dark side, let's be honest. I think if Bastila were here, she'd probably point that out. Oh. Hi, guys. Bit of thermal debt I could use on you. Yeah. Oh, nice. during the wildlife is such a Jedi thing to do well could, we, we've we've murdered a lot of wildlife in this game it feels odd to suddenly draw the line here Uh, is there anywhere else to explore down here? I think I checked these, didn't I? Yep. I mean, look at me. I'm just sitting here murdering more wildlife as we make our way there. Corto control panel. <clears throat> Toxin into vents, access fuel tank pressure control. Ugh. Let's save. And feed toxin into vents. Oh my god, was there a cutscene there that I've just missed? Because I accidentally. I'm glad I saved. Don't press anything. Just, just wait. There you go, big fishy. It's kind of weird that the first time you get to actually see the big down fish is when you're killing it. Feels like it could have been cooler to have this thing chase us down in the submarine on the way here or something. Oh, 
possible for it to have made some sort of appearance before now. There you go. We done killed Sharky. Uh, I just wanted to see the cutscene. I wanted to see what happened. Uh, I'm going to destroy the equipment instead because it's the light side-ish sort of thing to do. So this is what happens if you go the other route. Oh no! It's a maths puzzle! All right, fuck it. We're killing. We're 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 poisoning the shark instead. I'm not doing maths. I'm not doing whatever that puzzle is. Shark is now poisoned. I didn't. I didn't realize we would have to do a goddamn puzzle. I'm too tired to remember what we were even supposed to do. Like, I'm, I'm sure it was not actually a very difficult puzzle, but I'm genuinely too zonked out right now to remember what the stupid ratio of whatever it was I was supposed to put in there, so just forget it. Well, we got our star map. Puzzles lead to maths. Maths leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. And that's the final star map, isn't it? Which means it did a funky thing. It's showing us the way to the Star Forge. And a level up. And, um... Because we're underwater by ourselves, none of our party members can comment on this fact, I guess. Uh, right. Persuade? Treat injury. Powers. I believe I was going for Force Armor. And then Force Immunity. Eventually. For my last couple of level ups. For some reason, Bioware decreed that you must see the fancy final map and animation on Manan. On every other planet, it plays outside of a cutscene. So you can sit and watch or immediately leave, but Manan is special for whatever reason. Huh. We're light side enough to wear our mandibles. That's all we care about, really. Wear the magic mandibles. Um, so now what? Go to the right for the shortcut. Yeah, I just want to go back in here and say hello to the people again. So I'll tell them it's all safe and sorted and whatnot. We were watching you on the cameras, and I want you to know that you did the right thing. Killing that shark probably saved us all. I'm sure the Colto will be fine. A few impurities that may have got in should be flushed out in no time. Just hurry up and get back to the surface and get the Republic to send down a real rescue team. We'll be waiting here for you. Okay. You got anything to say? We saw what you did out there on the cameras. Why did you have to poison the water? We don't know what effect it could have on the environment around here or on the Colto. Whatever it is that's coming out of the vent now doesn't look the same at all. I only hope you didn't pollute whatever was making it. We never were able to synthesize it. Okay. <coughs> It'll be fine. But math, yes, indeed. Should have sent you out there in the damn suit to do it. If you cared that much. 
Right, Julie. What shall we do with you? Destroy a droid, I think, honestly. Oh, he's got another power to spend, all right. Um, force Whirlwind. Whirlwind? Force Breach. Or Advanced Throw Lightsaber. I'm glad you'll go with Force Breach, just in case we haven't need it for some reason. What? We haven't so far, but huh? no. Candorous! That was a very boring level up for yes. you, wasn't it, mate? Yes. Uh, I think I've been poisoned. I think I've been poisoned. <laughs> ah. No problem. Didn't work. That's that door where we, we only managed to bash halfway through. Oh, but well that's that finally taken care of. My god, Manan takes a while. It, it's, it's just not a... Uh, it's not a fast planet. Uh, it's still not my favourite. I just don't think it's a very fun environment to be in and to explore and stuff. That's probably my biggest issue with Manan, ultimately. There's nothing really wrong with the quests and stuff down here. You know, the, the courtroom stuff We're is genuinely watching. not bad at all, but... You know, I just... Um, I'm one of those players for whom a cool environment to explore... Like, totally trumps quest design for me. Uh, it's probably why I play so many Bethesda RPGs instead of what most people would call proper RPGs. Um... You know, that's why I like, say, for example, Stalker more than, I don't know, something like Fallout 2. Because, um, I kind of want to explore a cool environment and shoot shit, and quests are secondary for me. It's just the kind of player I am. I got started in, in, in video games with, like, you know, <clears throat> stuff like first-person shooters and rather than RPGs, so I think it might have set some preferences for life there, really, as a result. Which is why Manan for me is not just it's just not a very fun planet compared to say Kashik or Tatooine. Um <clears throat> You've returned. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Um Dave, now you're now you're past the spoiler. Have you done a dark side run leaving Corbin's last? Yeah, I, I did a very, very long time ago very long time on the original Xbox in fact <clears throat> I did it specifically because I wanted to go to the Sith Academy and be all like aha I'm Revan right uh, yeah your construction woke something up something was down there living in the rift by the Colto a gigantic Phyraxan shark that drove all the Cellcath insane. That's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? A few scientists have survived. Well, that's good to know. Good to know indeed. But what has happened to the facility? Was it damaged? The Kulto might have been a teeny, teeny, weeny, little, itty bitty bit. Contaminated. Contaminated? That's... That's much worse than I would ever have thought possible. It might have been better to lose the entire facility rather than damage the culto supply. This must remain entirely secret. We cannot allow anyone to find out that we damaged the culto production, or we would be banned permanently from the planet. We can only hope that the damage that was caused will go away in time. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that, I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? Yes, I did. As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together again in the future. Dark side points gained. Oh, there we go. Finally got the dark side points. Don't worry, he'll bitch about it if you blow up the machine too. Yes, something told me he probably would. Congratulations on creating Chernobyl on Manan. <laughs> A 
FBI adds up, yeah. Oh, it's these guys again. Stop, human! The flow of cult to the surface has been virtually cut off with what with what does arrive corrupted. You have been known to have asked questions about this, and our spy monitors in the Republic Embassy recorded you leaving in the submersible that descended to the bracket rift. You will come with us immediately to answer your, for your actions, or we'll be forced to take you by Are you kidding me? Another courtroom scene? You'll never take me alive! <laughs> Fast becoming a, ca a catchphrase, this. Don't be foolish. We have the entire armed forces of Manan. Blah, 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 blah. How come we oh my fucking god, just when I thought I was done with Manan. Then pay with your blood. Yeah, um. If they could do that, the whole system could. Silence! This is not for outsiders to hear. Well, human, you find yourself in a most difficult situation. The Harakat Rift is the most precious sort of resource on Menard. And anything that threatens it or the Kulto or it produces threatens our entire species. We will, we will toler not tolerate threats to our neutrality, our existence, and our way of life. Oh my god! I can't believe we have to do this now. I forgot about this entirely. Um... Yeah, whatever. If the flow of pure coal to stop coming from the ocean floor. Yeah, you're repeating yourselves, guys. The Republic has broken its neutrality treaty with us. The repercussions shall be very grave indeed. What have you done to the cult of supply? Force persuade the cult of is just fine. Lie, the Sith were trying to poison the cult of supply. I guess you'd find out anyway. The harvesting machinery released a toxin into the water. Harvesting machinery? What are you talking about? We know of this. What? It will be discussed later. This cannot be kept silent. The council will. The council will hear nothing of this, and you will keep your silence or be ejected from the court. But we cannot. Silence! And there was silence. What has happened to the research station? Why was this toxin released? If you were responsible, you will be banned from Anon. Please! Please! You you wouldn't. You're not lying, are you? You're not. Please? Can, he, can I please be banned from Anon? I'm completely okay with this. I volunteer to be banned from Manan. I wanted to kill this giant Firaxan shark, so I poisoned it. A giant Firaxan? Could it be? Impossible. It is only a legend. He said he killed it, didn't he? You killed the shark, human? Uh, the shark had driven everyone mad. He killed the progenitor. We do not know for certain if it was our mythical ancestor. None have seen it. Can't be kidding. Fucking fish people. The human has destroyed everything. First our safety with the culto, now our entire history. Regain your control. We are not emotional and illogical like off-worlders. We can deal with this. No, no, no! This thing, this human, should die for what they have done. We should kill him now before anyone knows. No, there are others who would notice his absence and begin asking difficult questions. We cannot ban the Republic for its actions. The Sith would gain too much, but we cannot let you go unpunished. For your crimes against Manan and the Selkath, you are banned forever from this world on pain of death. Yes! You can't do this. You won't get away with this, but I've done nothing wrong. If you knew who you were dealing with, if you knew who you were dealing with, you'd know I couldn't be happier. You are an off-worlder like any other, only more troublesome than most. God, eject the prisoner from the court. Hooray! <laughs> it's over! It's over! Manan is over! We're done, T3, Zalba, Jahani, we're, we're free! We can leave! And we're never allowed to come back! Hooray! <laughs> Hello! Candorous! HK! We never have to come back to Manan ever! Mission! Mission! Good news! We're banned from Manan! Ah. Julie! We're banned from Manan! Got something on your mind, do you? Do you want to talk about the war now? Not particularly. No time like the present? I suppose you're going to nag me until I cough it up, aren't you? Nothing is private anymore, it looks like. Ugh, there's no escaping it, I guess. So be it. My wife's name was Nayama. 
She was the Yukatis enforcer who shot me out of the sky, if you remember. What did your wife have to do with the war? My wife had plenty to do with the war. Upon meeting her, I knew right away that she was strong in the force. That's why she was able to shoot me down. Nayama was a marvel of a woman. Fiery, determined, smart. She dragged me to the capital and foiled three of my attempts to escape prison. Oh, and that body. <laughs> the, the war, Jolie. <laughs> well, yes, that. <clears throat> Needless to say, I eventually won her over. That was after I kidnapped her upon being broken out of the Yukata's prison, mind you. But, uh, that's another story entirely. At any rate, I wanted to train her in the Jedi way. The Council refused my request, naturally. I was still a Padawan at the time. I was an experienced Padawan, surely, but not yet ready to be a full Jedi, and certainly not ready to train another, especially not one so old as my wife. So you're saying you were an idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to pick that. So you're saying you were an idiot. Easy to say now. At the time, I just thought I was right. I believed in her and trained her in secret. I ignored her willful nature. I loved her too much to see fault in her. And she loved me too. I know she did. At the time, our love was a shared bliss. Better than anything I had known before or since. So what happened? Exar Kun is what happened. Nayama was inspired by Exar's promises of a new golden age. She wanted to join him. She came to me, pleading with me to throw aside what she called the decrepit trappings of the Jedi. To join her in Exar's war. So you killed her, of course. Um, so she'd fall into the dark side? I hadn't thought so. Not right then. I was too proud to believe that of her. I had trained her myself. I loved her. I pleaded with her to reconsider, to think about all that she was throwing away. To think about what she would become. She would have none of it. Finally, in frustration, she attacked me. She drew her lightsaber and attempted to strike me down. It was a scene being repeated everywhere throughout the galaxy. Pupil against master. In my case, it was a long and terrible battle. But I defeated her. You killed her? No, no. I had her at my mercy, disarmed and defenseless. She looked up at me and she knew. She knew I couldn't do it. Uh, I don't think I could have either. But I should have. Sometimes I convince myself otherwise, but it's no use. She had fallen to the dark side when she raised her saber against me, and I let her go. To my shame, she went on to kill many Jedi during the war, until she herself was slain in the final battle. I grieved for her death, inevitable as it was, even as the Jedi Council put me on trial for my actions once the war was over. They put you on trial? I had trained Nayama against their wishes. I had failed to kill her when I had the chance, and she went on to kill others. Not to mention that I had remained a Padawan throughout the war. A formality, perhaps, but with a trial, it had to be decided if I was worthy to become a Jedi at all. It was a travesty, of course. I told you that even the Jedi were capable of great injustices, didn't I? The Jedi are always fair and merciful. They gave me a second chance. I agree with you. They destroyed my mind, after all. But I deserve to be tried. They found me innocent. Even though I deserved every punishment and more, they let me go. Mitigating circumstances, they said. I deserved compassion, they said. They said I had learned wisdom the hard way. For all I had done during the war, they wished to raise me to full Jedi status at long last. That, that was when the Jedi left me. That was when they failed me. I don't understand. No, maybe you don't at that. They may have been able to forgive me. I could never forgive myself. You still believe what love is worth the risk? I... yes. I do, I suppose. Does that surprise you? 
Oh, it is all so long ago, lost in the winds, I suppose. Nobody cares what an old man believes anymore, do they? Let's continue on with the task at hand. I would prefer to think of the present today. All righty, Jolie. Well, um, yes, the present, the present. Oh, yes, we're banned from Manan! Hooray! <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave this off here. Uh, what are we on? Number 20 now. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come back next time, I guess I suppose we're off to find the Star Forge, aren't we? We've got all the coordinates. We've got all the star maps. We have it all. We've got all the things. We probably also want to go to Yarvin. If I had to guess, I'd say Suvam's probably got some new stuff in stock by now. Uh, so... Mental note. Visit Yarvin. And yes, we're banned from Manan. Hurrah! Suvam's final shop is ready. I figured as much. Brilliant. Uh, I want to see what goodies he's got available. Not that we're really l exactly as loaded with cash as we used to be, but hey, we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I, I did, even though, you know, M Manan's my least favorite planet, but it's not like it wasn't any fun. I am a little I'm kind of glad it's over though because I know what's coming next and I I have much more fond memories of what's coming next than I do of Manon. So um yeah. Next week we search for the Star Forge. Uh that'll be on Wednesday, hopefully, theoretically. Or will it? Actually, it might be Thursday. I've been thinking of dropping back down to three streams a week lately. Um so that I have more time to work on the YouTube side of things. So, yeah, I think we might actually be back on the Thursday with more Knights of the Old Republic, and then it'll be Stalker on Friday, and then more of this again on Saturday. Uh, yeah, and speaking of Stalker, the other reason why I want, I drop, want to drop back to three streams a week is because um, editing the Stalker VODs for YouTube is very time-consuming, and doing two of those a week... Um, is extremely time consuming so yeah no saturday stream tomorrow wait what the fuck why do i why did i think it was saturday i genuinely don't know um because of course it's friday isn't it um So I'll to the Skyrim crowd. I mean, how could I not, man? Do you realize how much money those videos make? Um, compared to my other stuff. All right, maybe we'll be streaming tomorrow. I don't know. Actually, it, it sort of depends. I might have plans tomorrow, but it's a little up in the air at the moment. But um, yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, so actually, yeah, okay. Fucking work from home stream a moment there. Yeah, apparently I forgot what day of the week it was. That happens sometimes. <laughs> Um, when you do my job, weekends ref cease to have any real meaning, and you start to lose track of what day of the week it actually is. For some reason, I thought it was Saturday, and it's not. It's not at all. I think it's just because I'm streaming Nice Old Republic, and therefore I assumed it was Saturday. But it's been a weird week, and so that's why I'm streaming it on a Friday, because we didn't stream it on Wednesday, because I was busy on Wednesday. I need to go switch my brain off and sit in a dark room without any visual stimuli for a bit because my brain's melting out of my ears at the moment. Uh, anyway, um, so disregard everything I've just said. Uh, we'll be back with more of this tomorrow. So I'll be going off to search for the Star Forge tomorrow. Not next week, tomorrow. I need to go, go home and rethink my life. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, it's been a pleasure. I'll catch you next time. Toodaloo.